Are you guys as excited as I am to take a tour of this home? Come on in. Are you guys ready to see one of the most beautiful homes I have ever posted on this channel? If you are, just buckle up because it's gonna be an amazing ride. When you have a home this beautiful, I mean, it literally looks like it was plucked from the English countryside. All that stacked stone, oh my gosh, the brick, and all the details of this home were just breathtaking. So the homeowners were not looking for a gut job. They were not looking for, actually, they were just looking for some help with some furnishings. <laughs> But as it turns out, um, yeah, when they call me up, I'm so sorry. It's probably not all you're gonna get from me. <laughs> so today I'm gonna share with you the entire first floor because this home is fairly large and we decorated almost every single room in the house. So um, I wanted to be able to spread it out a little bit because not only is this an amazing home tour, but it is a budget friendly home tour. For my clients, we just literally went right through their budget when we decided to do floors and paint and lighting. And so we needed to save a little bit of money when it came to furnishings. So today's video is packed with really budget friendly ideas and you're just not gonna believe it. You're just not going to believe that this home is decorated in a budget friendly way, but I promise you, you're going to have your mind blown. All right, so if that sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure you hit subscribe because this is not the only part of this video. I'm gonna have to break it down into two. Sip a coffee and let's go. <laughs> That's really good. Add some cinnamon to your coffee. That's yummy. <laughs> so as soon as you walk in the door, the first thing you're going to see is the dining room. It is breathtaking, but it did not always start this way. When I did my initial consultation, I just, as soon as you walk in, it's just very obvious that the color of the floor is a little bit of that kind of 90s, a little bit yellow tone, and a lot of the furnishings that they had were very gray undertone. It just didn't really feel like it was in harmony. And so, instead of having a massive budget for all the furnishings, we decided to go ahead and refinish the floors and paint the entire home. The interesting thing about my clients is that they did not want big power statements. They didn't want rooms with accent walls, any of the spaces. They wanted the home to be extremely serene and soft, and they wanted it to have a hotel-like feel, which happens to be something that we're very passionate about. So I was very excited that they loved that hotel-like feel. And they wanted something that felt almost like a little bit of a model home. They wanted to feel staged and ready just for guests at all times. And trust me, they've got boys and there's plenty of roughhousing that happens in there, but they wanted me to go ahead and, and create that look, that signature look that so many of you know me for. Of course, I was all in. This was totally up my alley and I couldn't have been more excited to jump in. So the first thing we did was we refinished the floors and we gave them a beautiful walnut finish. They were scared that that walnut would be too dark because they don't have an enormous amount of windows and light in their house, but it just, added such a richness to the entire house. Then we also painted the walls and gave them just a nice, serene, neutral vibe. That way, everything that we put on top of them would give them a little bit of drama, but not too much. So from there, it was time to go ahead and start designing these spaces. And for my clients, they had a lot of furnishings that they had brought with them. The problem was in the dining room, the table that they had was gonna be too small and the chairs weren't quite right. And so we decided to go ahead and invest in a new dining set, new chairs, a beautiful buffet. It has new lamps. We were able to use the artwork that they already had. She found that at Home Goods, and it's just so beautiful and it was so perfect for that space. We have a new light in here and I, I wanted the space to feel alive. As you guys know, that's something that I really love to do. So I layered the space with beautiful linen curtains and a fig tree. The setting on the table just added that sort of softness to the space. It helped it to feel approachable and inviting and the linen of the chairs and those little details are what really helped the space, even though it is barely neutral, to feel alive and beautiful and elegant and even down to the rug it was just all those things all put together and of course we just had a little bit of fun setting the table and styling that up 
and we filled the case with a lot of things that they already had, but Home Goods was amazing for vases and accessories. It was just a really great way to pull that space together on a very tight budget, especially since we kind of blew our budget in this room. <laughs> The rest of the rooms really had to be super budget friendly. <laughs> From there, of course, the thing that you see the most is the family room. And this room was really designed for football games and hanging out and family time. This was really, really important to my clients. So they had put up a TV over the fireplace and of course we had to have a roaring fire in it. They were so new in the house that they hadn't even had the fireplace inspected and serviced. So we didn't turn the fireplace on. Instead, we had a roaring fire on the wonderfully big TV. I mean, can you think of all the Super Bowl moments that they've had in that room? Oh my gosh. So the room had big pieces in it and we needed to have a bigger coffee table. So we found this amazing table at Ashley Furniture and I needed to fill it with, again, budget-friendly things. They happened to have a couple things like the lamps in the space and a couple little decor items, but I just really filled the shelves with really great pieces that were all really budget friendly. My go-to places for those bookshelves were Home Goods and Target. I really was able to fill them out with pieces from the Studio McGee collection. I included things from Home Goods. There was just a really good blend of things that really just went with their style and I just I just went treasure hunting until I found pieces that I knew would work in their style. And of course, we talk about this a lot. Those bookshelves were huge. They were so big. So I really made sure to fill them with items that were really large so that I could give them the most bang for their buck. Of course, then I needed to add in some soft furnishings, some beautiful down pillows. I found pillows from Amazon and Wayfair. I had a few that were I found on clearance at Pottery Barn. I mean, I'm telling you, this was so tight for all the styling stuff because, you know, I blown my budget everywhere else. Oh my gosh, and my favorite piece in the family room is that beautiful light. It was so light and airy, and it really just helped the whole space feel lighter and just so elegant and sophisticated and yet modern. It was just the perfect piece for that space. And again, on a budget. In the breakfast room, we created this beautiful little coffee station where they can make their breakfast and their coffee. We found artwork at Home Goods. I can't believe these pieces are from Home Goods. The vases I found on Amazon. We really made that stretch by just putting some greenery in there. It helped the whole space feel complete, even though everything was super budget friendly. I really love the light in that space. I think it's so pretty, don't you? I would definitely, I would use all these lights in my own house. They were just so classic. I love them all. That breakfast room, of course, opens up to the kitchen. And this kitchen is one of the reasons that they bought the home. They loved that cottage feel. They loved the sophistication. They loved all the finishes. They loved everything about it. So all we needed to do was just simply style up the space. They're minimalist to the core. They did not want a lot out on the counters. Honestly, they didn't want a lot out in most of the house. We really had to keep it very pared back and make sure that everything that we put into the house really, that it didn't have necessarily a loud voice, but that it carried itself really well and carried the space. So in here, we just put a lot of everyday objects out, things that they would be reaching for regularly, and just really styled the space for that life that they wanted. The, the reason that they bought that house, that coziness that a kitchen just, all those vibes that a kitchen brings. And of course, in here, we also replaced the lighting. We gave them beautiful bar stools, and all those elements just really came together. One of my favorite elements in that space is the vases, again, with the greenery and soap by the sink. Oh, it's just, it's those everyday moments that make a house feel like a home that I just really love to be able to include and to make every day feel chic and sophisticated. So I just really love how that came together. On this floor, they have a little laundry room, which we didn't do a lot to. We just added some simple artwork, a couple laundry baskets, and just to help that space to just feel a little bit more complete. And that area leads back into, oh, is this my favorite? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to say that for like every single room. 
everywhere it was beautiful in this house. The owner's suite is no disappointment whatsoever. It's grand, it's oversized, and it's so elegant and beautiful. The owners had already purchased the furniture for this space, and they were looking for us to just take it up a notch course on a budget and we also had her desk in the space because of COVID she put her desk in here I didn't want her to feel like she woke up to her work so I wanted to style up this space to feel like it was very serene and when she was in there even during the day that she would be excited to work from that area so I styled up her desk and made it extra beautiful with just some simple things like a beautiful vase and a lamp and just really taking what she had and just making it feel cozy and inviting and sophisticated that way when she woke up it'd be something beautiful to look at and it wouldn't feel like work the chair that's normally in that corner they had put against the wall and they didn't want to take it out of the room because they like to sit there so i just styled up that space with a beautiful mirror i used a table that they already had i found the lamp at target the pillow was one that i found at west elm and i loved the tree in this little space they didn't want to have real plants throughout the entire house. They wanted some that were real and some that were faux. So when you have an area that doesn't get a lot of light and maybe you want something like an olive tree that maybe naturally would struggle to survive in your climate, indoors especially, faux like this is gorgeous. And I will leave a link for all these things because you're not gonna believe how affordable every single one of these things is. That came from Amazon. I can't believe it. I know, I'll leave a link. The bedding as well came from Amazon, at least much of it did. I wanted that hotel-like feel that they were really craving. I gave them the beautiful hotel-style duvet with the little black trim, and then we just softened it and added luxury with this incredible bedding that came actually from Amazon as well. I found some of the throw pillows at Home Goods, and the whole thing just really came together. The artwork above is from Target, and I think that it just added this serenity to the entire space. We also switched out the lighting, gave them a beautiful rug, and the whole space just came together and feel, it just feels so serene when you're in that space. They just absolutely love it. The owner's bathroom is just as gorgeous. We didn't have to do any major renovations in this space. We switched out the lighting. We put down a great rug. We just added all those little personal touches into the space. It helped it feel complete. So everything from inexpensive bases again from places like home goods and target and just those little touches like having your cotton swabs and your q-tips in a beautiful container and those trying to make those everyday moments again just like the kitchen feel so approachable and elevated and sophisticated i don't know what it is about when you put cotton swabs in a beautiful container why it makes it just feel so much more special but there's something about the act of using your space in that way that just feels so chic and it just feels like a treat. And I think that's really key for an owner's suite. One of my favorite things that I always love about a house is when there is a door from the owner's suite out to an outdoor area. So this one is extra beautiful. They have a screened in porch that is to die for, <laughs> so beautiful. And they already had their furnishings. We didn't have to do a lot out there. They'd actually put their ottoman out there and they had put up a TV and a console table. And so I just I just styled up that space. I thought that it was really great. It didn't need a lot. It's just those finishing touches sometimes that really take a space from being okay to incredible. Because this was done in winter, we didn't add too many plants because they didn't want them all to die in the winter. So often you have to pull everything in. And they said maybe in the spring they'd invite us back and maybe we get to do some more trees and some things out in that area. But for now, this is perfect. It gave them a place to crash outside, maybe watch a football game on the TV and just hang out and have a drink maybe even at the end of the day. We actually, oh, I probably shouldn't admit this, but um, yeah, we actually snuck out there for lunch and just sat because it's so tranquil and so therapeutic to sit outdoors like that even in even when it's chilly outside you can still use the space I don't know it was just wonderful I really loved that space I would definitely hang out there all the time if I had that I've saved one of my favorite spaces for last because I know I said favorite every single one of them is a favorite I can't help it I can't help it I love it the office with all of its wood trim 
is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. I probably myself would have gone a lot darker with the color on the wall because <laughs> clearly I like it dark. But he really wanted a space that would be a lot lighter and a little bit airier. And so we just tried to use a lot of his books that he already had to decorate the shelves. We purposely chose the ones that were white that would bring just a lightness to the space. He had a beautiful rug and desk and chair already. And I think that the rich brown of that leather chair, you know, I had said, if you want a light in it, we can bring in a lighter chair. And he just loves that chair so much that we just kept it. So I think sometimes you have to figure that out, figure out the things that make you feel most at home and don't worry so much about whether they are designed perfectly. Your home may never be photographed for a magazine. It's not that important. What's important is how you feel in the space. And for him, this felt very sophisticated. It felt very manly. So for him, this room, it did help to lighten the paint a little bit, to use some lighter accessories and, and some lighting that just really kind of softened all that heavy wood. Um, but you know, that doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice the things that you really love. And so I think that the space came together perfectly for him. And I know that he's really enjoying working from that office. I think that just about wraps up the main level of this beautiful home. I, I'm telling you, I could just move in and be such a happy girl. It's so warm and all the, the stone and the wood and, oh, it's just beautiful. And the homeowners are thrilled. They said that they finally felt like somebody understood what they really wanted in their home and they absolutely loved it. So <laughs> I'm going to torment you a little bit and hold off on part two because we have guest bedrooms and a loft area and an entire terrace level to show you. And I didn't want to overwhelm you all in one day. So make sure you hit subscribe so you get the notification for when that comes out. And if you'd like to see sneak peeks in between, make sure you visit us at Instagram. That's where we were giving peeks as we were staging and styling the space. And we do that a lot when we have other rooms that are coming out. So I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for visiting. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and tell me if you really love this space. I can't wait to hear what your favorite part of this home is. And if you, like myself, would love to move into that house, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm stalking <laughs> that. That little area is just gorgeous. So now I am stalking that and I keep taking Jack over there. I'm like, see, look at these houses. I don't know that we'll move in, but I wanted to. Let me know down in the comments if you wish that you could move right into. I will leave as many of the links as I possibly can for the items that were featured in today's video. There were so many of them and many of them did come from home goods, which you can actually see if you want to look back. I did a home goods video where we showed you a lot of what we found at home goods and then we featured it in the video. So that was kind of fun. So yeah, so anyways, you guys let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this home is and um, I'm gonna sip my coffee and get back to work. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Cheers. Are you guys excited? As my, my hang on, sorry. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Uh, sorry, as. <laughs>